Everybody, welcome to the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ian Jordson. And I'm Nick Kinzel. And we're going to be going right into our Charlotte preview. We got Trucks, Xfinity, and the Cup Series for the Coca-Cola 600 this weekend. Always a great weekend honoring our troops. Uh, can't wait to see these cars on track, uh, especially with some of the patriotic paint schemes that we're going to get. Always my favorite part of the weekend. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Alrighty, so let's get into the truck race. We got the North Carolina Education Lottery 200, 201 mile race, 134 laps. Stages one and two are 30 laps each, and the final is 74. Uh, so no cup or Xfinity drivers will be in this race. We got the triple truck challenge. I always love seeing this in the truck series and the dash for cash down in the Xfinity series. Uh, most team wins here is Kyle Busch Motorsports. They got seven, and most manufacturer wins is Chevrolet with 11. Uh, how fitting with KBM going to Chevy now. They're part of that winning <laughs> manufacturer organization now. So, Nick, do you think KBM's going to get it done this weekend? No, I don't because I don't have Boss Man driving for him this <laughs> weekend. All right, so yeah, no no Cup, no Xfinity guys this weekend. I'm going to go with the 23 truck of Grant and Finger. Um uh, Grant, he finished second in this race a year ago, and Grant Infinger on the season already. He won at a mile and a half track. He won back at Kansas. Uh, so the momentum's kind of rolling for that 23 team right now here on these mile and a half tracks, and I'm going with the guy with experience here. So, yeah, give me Grant Infinger to get his second win of the season. He's going to win this one at Charlotte. All right, I like it. I like it. Uh, for my pick for the Truck Series race, I got to go with the guy Raja Karuth. Uh, he has looked great this year. Every time he's running, he's running top 10 races. He just always gets caught in someone else's shit. Uh, the guy is a great driver. I think he's finally get it, going to get it done here at Charlotte. Man, this weekend. Garage Caruth to get his first real win on NASCAR's home turf in Charlotte. That would be something. The key for him is going to be surviving those last 25 laps because that's when something always seems to go wrong for that 24 team, but man, that would be awesome to see. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> All right, then we got the Xfinity Series race. We got the Alsco uniforms, 300, 300 mile race, 200 laps. Stages one and two are 45 laps each, and the final is 110 laps. Uh, some notables in this race Kyle Bush back in the 10 for Colleg Racing. Uh, they're fresh off a win with Kyle Larson a couple weeks ago. And Ty Gibbs making his return to the Xfinity Series. Going to be taking over the 19 for Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, most manufacturer wins here. Chevrolet, 32 wins. Got to go with a bow tie here. But I don't think that's what I'm going to be doing this time. I'm going with the guy, the recent Xfinity Series champion, Ty Gibbs. Uh, yeah, this kid just kicks ass down this series. He's stepping into the 19 car. That car kicks ass. We saw that with Ryan Truex. So Ty Gibbs, he's going to put an old-fashioned ass whooping this weekend. Yeah, that one's tough to beat right there. Uh, he's going to be he's going to be class of the field. It's going to come down to him and Kyle Busch at the end mm -hmm. of this one. But for me, uh, I'm going to go with Kyle Busch's car racing teammate. This is, this is a man I have not picked in a long time. This is a guy I have not had faith in to win a race in a long time. I was going to do it. Why not? It's Charlotte. Give me the 11 car, Daniel Hemrick. Why the fuck not? Why not? Uh, Daniel, last year, he finished sixth in this race. Uh, the 11 car has had some speed. Uh, they've had better speed in the recent weeks than they've had to start out the season. But for him to win this race, something's going to have to go wrong for that 19 car, I think. I do think he could challenge if it comes down to him and Kyle Busch because Kyle Busch has not had the best speed out of that 10 car in the races he's been in this season so if it were to come down to those two I have a better chance but the the key of the day is going to be 
that 19 fucking up somehow. Otherwise, he will whoop ass on the field. But let's get our second one of our career, Daniel. Why not? Why not? We were upside down a couple weeks ago at Talladega. Now let's finish on all fours here. Let's go upside down, do a backflip. <laughs> that, that's the only that's the only time I want to see the man upside down. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Then let's get into the Cup Series race. We've got the Coca-Cola 600, 600 mile race, longest race for NASCAR in the season. 400 laps. All four stages will be 100 each. Um, most team wins here. Hendrick Motorsports, they got 12 wins in the Coke 600. And most manufacturer wins is Chevrolet with 25. So, like I said with the Xfinity Series, bow ties know how to get it done here, buddy. Who are you going with? Not going with a bow tie. Uh, I actually think that Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota, they've been very stout at the co few years. Uh, you got Denny Hamlin winning it a year ago. You got Kyle Busch putting on that uh, absolute ass whooping that he put on a few years back. Martin Truex Jr., he, he's very good here. He went to victory lane in the 19 car here in the Coca-Cola 600. So I'm staying in the Gibbs camp, and I'm going to be the homer again. I'm I'm, I'm car number 11 this week. Uh, give me Denny Hamlin. Uh, Denny Hamlin last year, uh, he, he did what he had to do at the end. He was there at the end and went on to win the Coca-Cola 600. And I just like the momentum that Toyota and really the, what Denny Hamlin's had going to victory lane a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I don't know why not. Why not? So give me car number eleven to go back to back. We had a we had a pretty shitty race at North Wilkesboro. We're looking definitely looking to uh, to get a step in the right direction here. And six hundred miles that's a long it's a long race. So I want a guy I want a guy like Denny at the end. So give me car eleven to so right. go back to back in the Coke six hundred. You're going for 11 and 11 and Cup and Xfinity. I mean, why not just go for Corey Hyman Trucks and just do the 11 sweep? Yeah, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> righty. so for my pick for the Coca-Cola 600, I'm going with a guy who is just an ace on the 1.5s as of lately. Uh, got a win at Kansas Speedway last year. I'm going with the man Bubba Wallace, finished second in the All-Star race this weekend. Uh, this guy has had so much momentum going on this season. Uh, he's been kicking ass, and I think he's going to get his third uh, career win on NASCAR's biggest race. I mean, really, if you're if we're counting the All Star race, Bubba Wallace has three straight top five finishes. Uh, but in the last two points paying races, back to back top five finishes for Bubba Wallace. So, and mile and a half, that that's been his bread and butter, especially uh, with the run that he had at Kansas uh, a few weeks back. I would not be surprised at all with the role that 2311 race, typically the 23 car has been on the past couple of weeks. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Bubba Wallace uh, go on and win this thing. And I just think that would be badass. That would be fucking cool, buddy. But uh, before we end our show, you got anything else to add before we see cars back at Charlotte? Uh, well, last race, last year's Coca-Cola 600 did not disappoint. I think we were all kind of a little bit worried about how the race was going to be because years prior in the Gen 6 car, the Coke 600s were not very good races at all. But last year just blew it out of the water. I think I think last year's Coke 600 minus the Kansas races is probably the best race of the year, uh, probably the most entertaining race of the year. So I'm just I'm looking forward to having another race like that. And it, yeah, it's it's going to be a good one. Hell yeah, buddy. Can't wait for this weekend. One of my favorites for NASCAR. But that will do it for us here at the Stock Car Spectacle. Guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And you can also check us out on Twitter and Instagram. So for the Stock Car Spectacle, I'm Ian Jordson. And I'm Nick Kinzel. And we'll see you guys next time. Cool.